Hello friends, welcome back to this new episode. In last episode, we have seen about logout and the number functionality. And in this episode, I will show you about um, how to get the product from the database. And also, I will design the uh, product interface or cards in our index phase. So let's get started. But before starting this video, if you are new on my channel, please do subscribe on my channel and turn on notification. Let's go back to my Eclipse ID. So here you can see that uh, my index page is open and the project is running here. So here we are printing out just that our database has been connected or not. Okay. So here I will do the design about the front end. So how the product card will be looks like. So I am making a deep container. Inside the deep container I will add a card header to show the title about all products. Deep class card header this is a bootstrap default class and then using margin y-axis 3 and title is all products and then I am going to create a card uh, so but in our card will be inside a row element so create div row row and then in a row will show four products so div class column md3 so it will divide our row into four columns so inside the inside this column i would like to create a card so i'm going to use the bootstrap default card so this is the bootstrap default card with an image so i'm going to copy it and uh, paste it here Control shift f then it will format the codes so this is our card element okay i'm making the card to white 100 percent and uh, this is our image and this is a card body inside the card body we have a card title and also we need a basic class we need a price price uh, say price dollar something like that the initially dummy data in next we'll give it here the database data then category <laughs> category some category <clears throat> and then we don't need this uh, p attribute here we are looking a deep class uh, with uh, margin of three and uh, i'm to make it display flex and justify content between justify content between so in justify content between i will create two link so i'm going to copy this x copy this link and uh, first link will be our cart link and second link will be our buy link add to cart add to cart and then say buy now i think uh, i am done with this one so save it and go back to your browser and refresh so here you can see that this is our basic uh, product uh, card so here we need an image right now i don't have an image here we can put an image here later we don't have any image here so i'm going to copy our old project image from here so i'm going to copy this uh, going to copy this folder product image i will I already given the product uh, project link in in the description in my github repository so just uh, copy and paste you will get this product image inside the github repository now this is looks empty oh I see actually I already have that product image folder we have done before maybe I forgot that so inside the product image we have uh, this image so let's uh, put it here that will be product image product image slash let's say female shoes dot jpg okay let's uh, refresh the browser so here you can see the product image so uh, we have done this section and the visual section because uh, we, we will 
post here six products so now i am i am just make the one product component because we will loop through the product now let's uh, go back to our model and uh, create a product model so our class name it uh, product product have uh, i will integer this one have id private uh, string name then private string we have a uh, category then price and image okay i'm done now i'm going to create uh, some constructor so alter shift h then you can see that uh, constructor using field so select all field and generate constructor alter shift s and then create a default constructor the super method also remove the super method from here okay and then create uh, getters and setter alter shift s in windows then insert uh, getters and setters select all and generate and also you can create a two string method using the all so i am done with uh, product model because in database we have said that product have id name category price and image so that's why i'm going to create that product model okay after then i need to create a dao class so go and create a dao class product dao product dao click on finish so in product dao we need something from our user dao so here you can see that we need this uh, variables here okay and then i am going to create a constructor until alter shift s then constructor deselect all just only use the connection okay, remove the super method. now i am going to create a another function or method to get all the products so i am going to create public and it will be list type and uh, hot list product list it will return as a product so get all products then and import the list and product so import uh, product dot java okay then import java dot util then import cn dot tech tutorial this model and then uh, it's uh, giving an error because it's need and a return statement so let's say list list of product so you can say products products you can name it any variable maybe in my project you will find something like book then new array list new array list and product type and then return that products and uh, write the query i'm using try cache try cache is uh, exception you can see e dot print structures now i'm going to write the query mysql query to get uh, all products so which is select all from products so it will return us all the products so then pst pst equal this dot uh, con dot prepared statement and pass the query and then pst dot execute execute query it will return as a result set execute query so just uh, define the result set rs equal to now we'll check that if there is any variable or value in our result set or not so we are going to through a loop while loop while rs dot next then we will create a new product product making as a row new product and in in the row just uh, set the id row set id rs dot uh, get integer and what is the column name column name is id do the same row dot uh, set string uh, set uh, name rs dot uh, get string and what is the column name column name is name then do the same for category 
row dot set uh, category and rs dot uh, get string and the row name is column sorry column name is category row dot set uh, price rs dot uh, get string uh, column name is price and then row dot set uh, image and uh, rs dot uh, get string column name is image and then just uh, uh, products dot products dot add the row then just uh, add that new product inside our list so as long as we have product so it will go through this loop and then add that product inside our array list then when the uh, loop will finish then it will return all the products as a array list okay okay hope uh, i'm done here so now let's uh, go back to our index page and here inside the expression tag then now call this method so first of all create the instance of the product DAO then product uh, DAO PD 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 you can say PD new product DAO new product DAO you can see it's automatically import that product DAO then this need a connection db you can db con dot get connection okay after creating the instance we will call the methods so what the method method is pd dot get all products okay and what is returning it's returning a list of products so list of uh, list of product okay then products you can say products. then you, you need to import this one java util dot list you can see that it's uh, important save it okay now we have all the products so now we can uh, do a loop through these products so this is our products and uh, this row will be iterate so now create the expression and uh, do that if uh, say if uh, can see products dot is empty okay let's uh, try to understand this condition so now think about that we don't have this exclamation mark so we have this on product dot is empty so that means if our product is empty so if we don't have any products or uh, we, if if we don't have any item in our list so that means it's empty then we put an exclamation mark that means it's become a negative so if it's not empty so then we will uh, iterate our loop so now say for then it's a product type uh, product p as a products okay so now uh, uh, let's uh, print out something just print ln p dot let's say get category save it and go back to your browser and just do a refresh so you can see that we have all products female shoes ladies bag men clothes men wash e-cigarette and e-cigarettes we have all the category here so that means we are getting our products data from our database i mean there is no errors here okay so let's uh, do these things just to remove it here and just just simply cut this item control x and then paste it here so it's uh, iterating our loop so just uh, close it here and close it here okay now it's done so that means uh, every time it will loop our product so let's uh, check it out that we will get six product or not okay we are getting six product but it's uh, iterating the same product got you got that it's iterating the same product okay you can see that here we don't have any space between the two card so let's add some margin here my3 i hope it will work now so you can see that now we have this space between the two cards okay so now yeah we are going to um, show our product uh, 
name just uh, call p dot get name then here this dollar p dot uh, get price then the category name is uh, p dot get category and we need the image here this is a root directory so in in, in my guitar repository maybe this uh, folder name is different which is images but here I use the uh, singular name product image so please uh, make sure that you have uh, written correctly p dot uh, get uh, image then go back to your page and refresh it okay we are getting our all six products okay. you can see that we have the new arrival female shoes pure PO bag and all kinds of stops okay so I think uh, this video is enough for today so in next video I will show you how we can add to cut functionality how to implement that cut functionality using the session so okay so next then see you in next video and if you're new on my channel please do subscribe my channel and turn on notification